the first part of this video, we cheated a little bit. Did you notice? All of the Viewmark messages were less than 128 characters long. That's the maximum allowed length of a string in a Productivity 3000. The problem is, Viewmark messages can be up to 500 characters. And honestly, you'll find most of your Viewmark messages will be longer than 128 characters, especially when you start using a lot of formatting like this or you start using variables. So, how do you handle these longer messages if the Productivity 3000 can only handle 128 characters at a time? Well, it's the exact same concept as we used in the previous video with the 1D arrays, but now you just have to break things up a little bit and take advantage of the Productivity 3000's 2D arrays. Over in the tag database, instead of creating a 1D array of strings, you create a 2D array of strings. Let's give it a name. We'll call this one Long Messages. It's a 2D array of strings. We want each of those strings to be 125 characters long, and we need four of those to build a 500 character Viewmark message. And let's see, let's go ahead and have this array hold 15 of those 500 character messages. We can always change that later if we need to add more messages. So over here in the init routine, we just fill in as many of these 125 character substrings as we need. For example, Here's that Viewmark message we had a second ago. It was, what, 414 characters long. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to drop it into Notepad. Then in Notepad, I'm going to make myself a little ruler. There's 10 characters. Copy that. Now give me 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 characters. Now I have a 125 character ruler, and I can use that to break up my message. Let's find a nice clean place to break it. Oh, we'll break it right there. And let's see, I like to break it at a non-white space, so I'll grab that one right there. That one right there. Now I have four parts of that message, all less than 125 characters. Well, we just take the first part, copy that, go over here to our copy data instruction, and drop it into that 2D string we just created. This will go into string number one, part one. He gets that first substring. Remember to start with quotes and end it with quotes. Then we drop the second string into the first message, part two. Let me go get that guy. and drop them in here. The third part, guess where that's going to go? Yep, you got it. Message one, part three. Let me go grab that guy. And drop it in. Opening quote, paste, close quote. And let's go ahead and do the last one. And we're done. We now have the first message set up. So I went ahead and created a few more messages for us to play with, but you see the pattern here. Here's the original message with his four parts, the second message with his two parts, third message has two parts, fourth message has two parts, and the fifth message has two parts. And notice that these don't have to be in any particular order. Just make sure you get all your substrings filled in. Well, given that we've populated all the strings, all we have to do now is go back to main, drop into the Viewmark instruction, and put our new 2D string in here. So this is long messages, and we want the index to pick which message to display. And right here, we put part one. I'm going to copy that. So down here, I can put part two. Over here, I can put part three. And over here, we can put part four. So now the Viewmark instruction will automatically assemble the four parts of this and send them out to the Viewmark for you. How about that? So really, other than using this new 2D array to create the long string, this is identical to the simple version we have with the short strings in a previous video. Somewhere in your PLC code, you just change that message index and you get a new display. The Viewmark instruction does all the dirty work for you. Let's go ahead and try it real quick. I'm going to transfer this down to the controller. And now to display those long strings, we just change the message index, just like before. 
Let's go ahead and display message one. And there it is. Message two. And there he is. Message three. Message four. And message five. So the beauty of this is, look, we didn't change a thing up here in the main program level. All we did was populate our strings and put the new 2D array in our instruction. That's it. And again, I can add as many long messages as I want now, and my ViewMark display code doesn't change a bit, does it? That's a real time saver for large projects and makes changing messages a snap. And all it cost us was making a simple 2D array over there in the tag database and filling it up with all those 125 character chunks of ViewMark messages. Easy. Well, that ought to be enough to get you going with long dynamic text strings. Check out the other how-to videos in this series to get the most out of your Productivity 3000 and ViewMark systems. And please, let us know if you have any questions. Automation Direct's customer support is always free in just a phone call or email away. Performance plus value. That's productivity from Automation Direct.